everybody today's video is a makeup tutorial oh my god it has been quite a long time since I did a makeup tutorial and this one is an Indian wedding guest makeup look or if you are a bridesmaid or a bride's sister bride's best friend then this look is absolutely perfect for you especially if you're going in for a couple of changes all you have to do is maybe change your lipstick every now and then depending on your outfit but the rest of your makeup will go with each and every single of your outfit and this makeup is super easy to achieve as well and again if you are a bright sister and if you have to run around a lot then this makeup is also something that is bound to stay on you the whole day throughout the event and I've tried to achieve this look mostly with drugstore products so depending on if you have 5 minutes time or 50 minutes time and depending on your outfit and depending on your purse strings you can achieve this look to suit you. So if you want to know how I achieved this look continue watching. Foundation wise I'm using this Maybelline Dream Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation. I love this one and I'm in the shade 92 Caramel. So I am just going to dot this all over my face and I am going to blend this and work it into my skin with a foundation brush. While it is a mattifying foundation, it doesn't cling to any of your dry patches and it doesn't make your makeup look cakey or very weird or anything like that and as you can see it blends super amazing it is a lightweight foundation as well to conceal my dark circles what i'm going to do is take my mac studio finish concealer in the shade nw40 i'm just going to take a little bit on my ring finger and dab it under my eye I generally use a Real Techniques brush to do this but today I'm feeling extremely lazy and honestly speaking most of the time around my wedding I did most of the makeup with my hands because I hardly had time in between two different events and oh my god I couldn't be bothered to sit there and fidget with my makeup brush and to get the look right I felt like a little bit of help with my own fingers would definitely do the trick. If you're wondering why I'm applying the concealer over my eyelid as well, it's because I wanted to act like a primer and this makes sure that your makeup lasts all day long. Whether your friend is getting married in a coast where it is super humid and sweaty or if your bride best friend makes you run around in search of things that she forgot to do in the absolute last moment then your makeup is bound to stay put to set this in place i'm using the revlon powder i'm just going to dab it wherever i have gone crazy with the concealer wherever i fear that my makeup might just slip off because i tend to sweat especially in the t-zone now for my eyeshadow i'm using this super pretty heart palette i mean look at the colors it's so pretty i got this scent from the us one of my friends sent it to me and i'm going to choose this super cute pink color here this is something my sister did throughout my wedding time she would somehow find the time to help me get ready and uh, she would help me do my hair, she would help me do my sari and then after about 10 minutes of me leaving the room she would just get ready like that in a jiffy and her makeup was just like this very simple and it was surrounded mostly around pinks and uh, something that was very neutral and very uh, fresh kind of a makeup look that's what she went for and this pink shade was her app absolute favorite so i'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid i'm going to go in for this kind of a deep magenta or a kind of a purpley color I a tiny little bit on my brush and define my crease and outer corner of course there you go it's such a fast kind of a simple look but the end result is like super pretty you're going to be like uh, the bridesmaid <laughs> so i'm going to take the same purpley kind of a magenta color and apply on my lower lashes as well just to create a little bit of depth 
So next I'm going to take the Maybelline the Colossal Liner and draw on a cute little liner. So I have drawn a pretty like a medium-ish liner but depending on the outfit that you're going to wear and the kind of wearing theme that you're going to attend you can either draw on a wing liner or you can draw on a super thin liner so all the focus goes onto your lips in which case you might have to apply a real boom buster of a lipstick next i'm going in for l'oreal kajal mashik eyeliner pencil and just a tight line and waterline Finished this look with a bit of Maybelline the Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. I am pretty sure I have not even reached for a different mascara in about 3 years or something. And uh, why should I when this mascara does all the work? It gives you volume, it gives you separation, it gives you length and what what more can you ask from a mascara so this one is my absolute favorite and since i can't do false lashes what i'm going to do is apply two or three coats of this one both on my upper lash and my lower lash but if you can do fake lashes then go ahead be my guest put them on and make your eyes look super beautiful and with what tiny little bit is left over on this wand of mascara what i'm going to do this is a hack worth knowing i'm just going to with a very light hand just brush this through my eyebrows so my eyebrows don't look so scanty and they stay put they stay in place now that this is done i'm swiftly going to move to the blush and for the blush my favorite is the maybelline cheeky glow in the shade fresh coral such a pretty color and it makes your cheeks look very natural like you're naturally blushing and it gives you a very natural flush i know i'm saying natural quite a lot of times but it is a very good blush i know i should have done this before putting a blush on my cheek but i am going to go back into the Too faced chocolate soleil bronzer and this is in the shade medium and i'm going to take a little bit of this and carve out my cheeks i'm going to draw this right under my cheekbone can you guys see that what it does is it gives your face a good bit of definition and it makes it look like you have a very carved chiseled kind of a face revlon highlighter in the shade 030 bronze glow so i'm just going to take a tiny little bit of this and just apply this on to the tops of my cheeks and also on my brow bone because I haven't highlighted today kind of forgot conveniently so <laughs> I'm just going to fix that with this there you go look at that sheen it looks so gorgeous so I'm just going to do the same on the other cheek as well I'm also going to just run a little bit of the leftover thing on the tips of my nose a little bit on my cupid's bow all that is remaining to be done is apply a good lipstick and the one that I'm going in for because it's going to match the whole of my face it's going to go in theme with the pink eyeshadow the pink blush and is the Rimmel lipstick in the shade 106 I bought it from Nykaa I'm going to link all the products that I used below in the description box so if you guys are interested you can definitely go ahead and buy it so i'm back and this is the finished look i have changed into a kurta i've also put on a nice pair of earrings and i've done my hair a little bit simple but this is uh, easy for any bridesmaid to carry off just do a side parting and let all your hair on one side and i've also put a bindi it is completely optional but here in the south a bindi is a very traditional thing whether you're a bride or a bridesmaid and that is why i've gone for it but this is the finished look i know it is simple but it is very achievable whether you have five minutes on hand or 50 minutes on hand and depending on your outfit you can of course completely play with this look and make this your own and again i've tried to use as many drugstore products as possible so this makeup look is not taxing on you guys so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you like this do not forget to hit the thumbs up button comment down below and let me know what you thought about this 
look and yeah i love you guys so much if you're new here please subscribe i'll see you in my next one bye